rise for the playing of the national anthems of both fighters, both world champions. ブラジルのスーパーアリーナ正面国旗に向かいまして国立そして5月号のほどをお願いいたします。Excitement continues to build Ladies and inside Tama. Good evening and welcome. Nippon no boxing fan no Minasama Konbanwa. Japan for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Ohashi <laughs> Promotion in association with Tenken Promotions. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC, the president in attendance, Mauricio Suleiman, and the supervisor is Dwayne Ford. The WBA, President Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, supervisor Carlos Chavez, the IBF, the president is Daryl Peoples, supervisor Tsuyoshi Yaskochi, and the Japan Boxing Commission, the commissioner is Tsutomu Nagaoka. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From Monaco, Jean Robert Lane. From the United States, Patrick Morley. And also from the United States, David Sutherland. Introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions. From Canada, Michael Griffin. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, the rematch you've all been waiting for. It's champion versus champion, 12 rounds of boxing for the unified bantamweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Saitama, Japan, it's prime time. Introducing to you first, the WBC champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Entering the ring wearing blue trunks with orange trims. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Talibon Bohol in the Philippines. 
He weighed in at a ready 117 and three quarter pounds. In his remarkable 20 year career, he has an outstanding record of 42 wins, six losses, with 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight in his 22nd world title appearance, ladies and gentlemen, here is the future Hall of Famer, the renowned five division world champion, and the current defending WBC Bantamweight champion of the world, introducing the Filipino Flash, Nonito. opponent across the ring, the WBA and IBF world champion fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with silver trim, fighting out of it representing his home of Zama Kanagawa, Japan. He weighed in at the bantamweight limit of 118 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a sensational record of 22 wins, no losses, 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he is making his 18th consecutive world title appearance. Here is one of the acclaimed and renowned stars of boxing and pound for pound greats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the three division world champion, the hard hitting, undefeated, reigning and defending WBA and IBF Bantamweight champion of the world, introducing Naoya Monster. Michael Griffin. The gentleman received my instructions in the dressing room. You know what we're here for. Remember to protect yourself at all times. I want your touch gloves now, man, your box and the bell. God bless you both. The time has arrived. Doc Frank and Bob Arum ready to welcome the world. It's in a way against Donair. WBA, WBC, IBF, Bantamweight Championship on the line. Bruce Beck and Chris Algieri with you. And we're underway. And the first punch thrown by Nonito Donair. Yeah, right away he comes out with that vaunted left hook. That's the shot to look out for. That's the one that damaged the eye of Inoue in the first fight. And one that has knocked out many a great champion. Donaire is now 39. Inoue 29. See Donaire is dialed in. Laser-like focus. Seems like both men are feeling each other out. Not quite round number 13. Good movement by Inouye. You can see how quick he is. Ooh, ooh. Big lead hook there from Inouye. I was about to say, Inouye looks bigger and stronger than he did in their first fight. Donaire looked markedly bigger than Inoue in the very in the first fight. Today, not so much. And that might be just a natural evolution for Inoue now, 29 years of age. Little feeling out process here in the first minute and a half. You can tell Inoue respects the power. Nice counter there over the top. Anyway, definitely respects the power of Donaire. Being very cautious early on. In a way, holds some punching power of his own. There, snapping the jab. Beautiful jab from Inouye. I like how he changes levels with it, too. He gets low, throws it low. Ooh, right hand by Inouye. Puts the right hand right behind it. Textbook stuff. There it is again, that, that body jab, level change. First round, you just don't want to make a mistake as Inoue gets through again. Left hook. And here's Donaire. 
excellent counter, so in a way. Donaire landed a good right hand, though, in that exchange. First leather he's been able to put on in a way. And that jab is now ever present by Inouye. I'm surprised Inouye is using the counter left hook. You know the old adage, Bruce, don't hook with a hooker, right? Right. Well, Donaire is one of the best hookers in the game. I'm very surprised to see Inouye using that weapon so much. Oh, oh right hand by Inouye, and Donaire goes down! Just seconds remaining in the first round, and we've got our first knockdown by Inouye! And there's the bell ending the first round. Wow, what a sneaky, violent shot from Inouye. It must have been set up with those multitude of left hands, and all of a sudden that right hand came out of nowhere. I don't think he threw a right hand the whole first round. He saved it until that last second. Bang! That's what you call no fat on the punch. It was nothing wasted. Perfectly timed, beautifully executed. Like I said earlier, textbook. Everything this man does is textbook. We saw jabs, we saw hooks, and all of a sudden the right hand came for the first time, and pow! Yeah, Donaire was expecting the left hand. You said it, Bruce. I mean, he'd thrown so many left hooks and jabs up to that point. Wasn't expecting the right hand. That's exactly when Inouye threw it. Man, he sat down at that punch, and he got it in there just before the bell. Short and powerful. A punch that was punctuating the round. Let's see where we pick up in round two. That's what Muhammad Ali used to call the anchor punch. You drop his weight into it. Let's see how that one punch changes this fight. And if it does. Oh! In a way with a left hook. In a way, it has to be careful. Donaire is still very dangerous. There's the jab by Inouye. Oh, my God. left hook. Inouye is scoring at will. Donaire in trouble. Yeah, Donaire's hurt. Right hand by Inouye. Donaire is the heart of a lion, though. He's dangerous. He'll go out on the shield. Right hand by Inouye gets through. Oh, a two-punch combination. And a short left hook, and a right hand, and an uppercut. Oh, a body shot, too. Donaire trying to battle back, but in a way, has made a target practice. Oh. Down. He doesn't go down, he's wobbled. His legs are all over the place. Look out! Trying to finish the fight is Naoya in a way. Another right hand. Oh. Donaire goes down. And that is it! What a performance by Naoya Inouye! Ending this fight in the second round with a plethora of punches. Power, precision, professional. That man is scary. Monster was here tonight. Incredible stuff. I mean, he fought perfect. If there was a blueprint for a perfect fight, that was it. Donaire took a couple of good punches and fought back, but then he just couldn't repel the challenge of the monster. No, I mean, every, everything that, that anyway was throwing was, was doing damage at that point. You know, the right hand put him down early in the, per, in the late in the first round. The left hook had him hurt early in the second, and he just never recovered his legs. Pound for pound, one of the best on the planet, and he proved it. In this victory, we, we, we were saying he's getting better. And you alluded to how could he, he get better? He's been so good. That's how. He's gotten better. And he still continues to improve. Incredible. And up against the Warrior, a Hall of Famer. And he dominated. And now the talk is going to be about Nonito Donaire and his future. If this is it, does he consider retirement? But it's too early, I think, to even discuss that aspect. Tonight it's all about respect, and it's about in a way's performance. I mean, listen, when it comes to Donaire's prolific career, there's nothing left to do. 
At this point, if he wants to fight, he can, but he doesn't have to. And he wanted to fight the best? Well, he did. He might have fought the best. In a way, now gets his third belt in the Bantamweight division, adding the WBC to the WBA and the IBF. He's got 20 knockouts in his 23 victories. And he put on a show in Saitama, Japan, that was off the charts. Scary, scary good performance, my goodness. It was four some odd minutes, but worth the price of admission. Yeah, I mean, in the first round, he was very, very cautious, methodical, setting up his, his power punches. In the second round, he was nonstop. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 24 seconds in round number two. Our referee in charge, Michael Griffin, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical lockout. He is still undefeated. He is now the WBC, WBA, and IBF Unified Bantamweight Champion of the World, Naoya Monster. One twenty-four of round two. Performance for the ages by in a way. The silent assassin strikes again. Oh yeah, right. No gloating. No bravado. Just class. Class act through and through. Ultimate respect. That performance was surgical. Surgical is, is a perfect word to describe that. Game plan was set and with perfect execution. In a way, did everything that he planned to do. And there goes the warrior, Nonito Denaire, bowing to the crowd, showing all kinds of respect, showing all kinds of class. Ooh. I don't think he recovered from that first round knockdown. That right hand came out of nowhere. He didn't see it. You know, he went down pretty hard. I, I don't know if the, if the minute in between rounds was enough time. When do you remember the first right hand of a fight being the story of the fight. And it wasn't thrown until 250 remaining in the first round. That reminds me of the great uh, Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko. He would save that right hand. He would save it, save it, save it, set it up with the left, set it up with the left. And when he threw it, it was lights out. And look at Donaire. He, he, he was with someone walking him back. He fell down. Donaire's just come through, you know, oh, a, a traumatic performance and he, he, he immediately turned to help well, no, I'm not saying